Hi and welcome to my guide how to get the three other monkey Gregory's. The quest requirements is at least the start of regular monkey madness and the stat requirements is that you are able to kill three monkeys of combat 82, 86 and 167 where the combat 167 heals itself a couple of times next to an altar so having 43 prayer is very helpful but you could also try killing it from a distant safe spot. Items needed is a Monkey Speak Amulet and a Monkey Grigory from the Monkey Madness quest. If you have neither of them, I suggest you to watch my Monkey Madness guide, since you pretty much have to do that quest over again. I'll put a link in the description with a timestamp, so the guide starts how to get the amulet first. If you have a Grigory but you've lost your amulet, you can follow my Monkey Madness guide, but you can skip the sneaking part, since you already are a monkey. And if you have the amulet, but you don't have a Grigri, I'll put a link in the description to my Monkey Madness guide once again, but then with another timestamp, so you can start the guide how to get the monkey Grigri. But when you have both these items, what you will need is at least one stamina potion, and 5000 GP to buy some talismans. Any weapon to kill the three monkeys between combat 80 and 170. If you don't have 43 prayer, you will need to bring along some very good healing food and as well as some good armor. And then also a ring of dueling of at least two charges would be helpful. And then for the Apatol dungeon, I'm going to bring along some weight reducing armor two extra stamina potions, some food to heal myself from damage dealt by the traps, and then also a teleportation method away from that dungeon after we have our Grigris. So when you have all these items, let's go to Apetal by traveling with Diero. Just right click on him to go to the hangar. Here in the hangar, right click and travel with Wadar. We will get to Crash Island. Go to the shore and travel with Lumdo to Apetal. Let's equip our Grigri and also our Monkey Speed Camlet. And let's go to the uh, village. Just like in the Monkey Madness guide, just follow the hill northwest until you see the gate. Okay, so a little bit southeast from the general store sign, you should find a fire emblem or a fire symbol between the two buildings. Let's here trade the monkey to tap and let's buy three monkey talismans. When we have our talismans, let's go north, northwest. You will need to enter this big grayish building. Inside, you should find a ladder sign next to the uh, hole in the wall. Let's climb up this bamboo ladder so we are able to fight the first monkey. Let's go northeast, cross this uh, bamboo bridge. It is actually black on your minimap. And you should find two NPCs on our minimap. We only need to kill one of these monkey archers. So let's equip our good armor. Use protect from ranged and let's kill the first monkey archer. He only has 50 hit points. Once we have killed this one, let's take the monkey bones. Let's go southeast and just cross the bamboo bridge and then enter the building over here. Just enter this building, turn off your auto retaliate because those arrows are annoying. Then let's cross this bridge south and he should find another ladder. Let's deactivate our protector from missiles and let's wait for our health bar to disappear so we are able to hold our Grigri once again. Then climb down the bamboo ladder and we should now be in the building with the bank symbol. 
From here, let's go east and let's enter the uh, monkey temple. Now it is time to kill the Comet 167 uh, monkey guard. I suggest you to stay near the uh, gorilla statue so you're able to constantly use protect from melee as well as your uh, piety or other melee boosting prayers. And let's kill one of these monkey guards. Now if you are not able to use protect from uh, melee for example, you could use the uh, fire pits on the eastern side or sacrificial pyre and use that as a safe spot to kill one of them. But therefore you will need to use a lot of magic spells or a ranged attack method. Just try to kill one monkey guard, but these will regenerate some health. And also be sure to watch out for your prayer points and pray at the gorilla statue to recharge your prayer points. Now you just need to wait for you to have defeated one monkey guard so you have their bones as well. Okay, when you defeated one of these monkey guards, let's try to take the bones and go up these ladders or these stairs, turn off your prayers and now you just need to wait for your health bar to disappear so we are able to turn into a monkey once again, climb down these stairs and let's go south. We need to go to the stairs south of this temple, climb up this bamboo ladder, then go east, east of uh, the second floor, they should also find a ladder sign on your minimap. Let's climb down this bamboo ladder and then next to you, you should find a trap door. Open it and climb down. Now we are here with the monkey zombies, but there are quite a lot of monkey zombies. Let's turn on our protect from melee, equip our weapon and kill one monkey zombie. Now when you have killed one monkey zombie, take the bones and this is all the three bones that are required for the recipe for disaster Awawoki sub part. So from this point you can use your ring of dueling, go to clan wars, recharge all of your stats and bank for the uh, Apatol dungeon part. Let's teleport to clan wars. Number three on your dual ring. Let's go to the uh, portal to reset our stats or uh, recharge at least. Let's go through this portal, exit the portal, let's go to the bank and we will now need to prepare for the Apatol dungeon part of this quest. Go to the bank and deposit all of your armor and weapons because we don't need them in that dungeon. So I'm going to deposit my RFD gloves, my weapons, my helm, my whip, as well as my berserker ring and the defender. I also don't need my coins anymore as well as my runes, all unnecessary. Now what you will need to have for this part, you will need to have your weight reducing armor, a couple of stamina potions, two should be enough, some food to pass the traps in the dungeon and also your three or four monkey talismans and your three or four monkey bones. And also you will need to have one teleportation method out of there after you have gotten your monkey Grigris. When you think you are able to get through that dungeon, let's teleport to Dual Arena. Let's go to the glider, take the glider to the known stronghold, travel with Dairo, Wadar and Lumdo and get back to Apatal.
All right, back on Apetal, let's equip our Monkey Grigri and let's go west. We will need to go west of the rare tree sign where there are a couple of teaks. West of there you should find a dungeon sign. Let's climb down this bamboo ladder. And let's follow this dungeon to the end, just like the Monkey Madness quest. At the D junction, go north. And now you just need to keep running to the end of this dungeon. Alright, when you've made it back to Zunok, let's talk to him. Select the second option, can you make another monkey talisman? Select yes. And he will want the goods. Let's right click and use our monkey talisman on Zunok. Then be sure to right click and use, do not bury, that would be annoying. And use those on Zunok as well. Now just wait a second. Click to continue a couple of times and you now have the Ninja Grigri for example. This is a smaller one. Then once again you will need to talk to him make and ask him to make another Monkey Speak Talisman. Right click, use Talisman, right click, use the bones and do this with all the other uh, bones and talismans in your inventory. Alright, this was my guide how to get the three different other Grigories. Hopefully it helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.